Hi, I'm sitting here in a uh, BMW i3. I just got a hold of this car. It's a uh, full electric um, i3 with the large battery. So when it comes to electric cars, people are always talking about um, the range, the range, the range, the range, and um, uh, the manufacturers they always state the NEDC range, and it's uh, a range that you can't really achieve. So I want to know how far can I go when I go on the highway at full speed, 120 kilometers per hour or 70 miles per hour, and uh, how far will I get? I want to test this car. I want to test the the new Hyundai Ioniq, uh, the Nissan Leaf with the 30 kilowatt hour battery, and uh, the Renault Zoe, 40 kilowatt hour. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm I'm guessing around uh, 150 kilometers. 90 miles, something like that. Uh, we'll see. I just um, uh, put this uh, computer back to zero. So here we have Swedish, of course, but uh, the interesting is uh, the, the distance that I've been driving and um, um, the energy that I've been using and the average speed, maybe. Okay, so off we go. The trip I took was from the center of Stockholm to Eskilstuna. Uh, total distance of 118 kilometers. Uh, the first, say, 30 to 40 kilometers, something like that, uh, was at a speed of around 100 kilometers per hour, and uh, the last, say, 80 kilometers, was with the speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Or, yeah, you can drive that fast at least. So we're on our way, uh, driving from Stockholm to uh, Eskilstuna in Sweden. Uh, we've had a lot of traffic earlier, so uh, I've only been driving for a little bit less than, in a speed, a little bit less than 90 km per hour. And uh, right now I set the cruiser to 125 km per hour. Uh, we've been driving for 50 km, and um, according to the uh, computer here, we have 97 km left. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, because now we're driving a lot faster, it'll eat up the range. Um, it feels like a sturdy, steady car. It feels nice to drive. Uh, fast acceleration. A little bit um, too accurate, I'd say, in the steering and in the, how the car behaves when, when we're driving it this fast. I have to concentrate a lot in order to drive smooth. But uh, it's a good experience so far, it's nice. We are now driving at 90 km per hour and uh, it's because uh, the range isn't enough for where we want to go. Uh, right now we have uh, 29 km of, uh, of range according to the computer here. And, um, uh, and the distance we still have to go is uh, 31 km. So uh, I had to let go of the throttle. Uh, from 125 km per hour down to 90 and uh, probably it'll do a lot for range because otherwise we'll <laughs> we won't be able to get there. Oh, this is some this is tags or something cool stuff. Um, where was I? I don't remember but uh, it's a great view, isn't it? I like this uh, winter landscape. Today it's around 0 degrees outside, 32 Fahrenheit. Um, we have a dry road and we started with a full battery and wanted to go 114 kilometers. Uh, but um, yeah, we weren't able to, to go as fast as we wanted to. I wanted to go at 125 kilometers per hour. Uh, that wasn't possible, so now we're driving at 90. We've been having a, an average speed of 101 kilometers per hour and we've been driving for 92 kilometers so far. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're slowly gaining some range according to the computer here, since we let go of the throttle and now we're driving 35 kilometers per hour slower than earlier. So we just arrived with 4% of battery left, six kilometers of range. Uh, we had to lower the speed from 125 to 90 kilometers per hour for the last uh, 30K or something like that. 
We drove for 119 kilometers and had an average speed of around 100 kilometers per hour. It's getting lower and lower now since we're standing still. So 230 watt hour per kilometer. Um, for a while when I was driving really fast it went up to almost 25. So it's really not an energy efficient car when driving at high speeds. I think actually the Tesla is more energy efficient at those speeds. So kind of a disappointment. Now I'm just hoping for the charger to be available behind us here. It's a clever charger and uh, yeah, charges most, most cars. Uh, price five, five Swedish kroner per kilowatt hour. So my final conclusion is this, that um, the trip we took corresponds to having a constant speed of around 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour. Uh, it was at zero degrees centigrade, around 32 Fahrenheit, almost dry road or no or very little uh, rain or snowfall. So the BMW got a range of around 115 kilometers, so 72 miles. And this is the 33 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, the Nissan Leaf 30 kilowatt hour battery, I've been driving but I didn't do a video of it. And that's since the car, it's not really that fun anymore. It's, it was the first car they made like five, six years ago. Not much has happened. so. I'm just gonna lay it out there instead. Um, my conclusion is that you'll get uh, around 100 kilometers when driving this route. Um, so 100 kilometers range, the BMW is slightly better and uh, it'll be really interesting to see what these two uh, bad boys down here can, can do when it comes to range Ionic and Zoe.